Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. We continue with our study of the Lord's Prayer. We continue as to work through this prayer and to think about the great themes. We're considering still that word Father. We looked at our Father cares for his children. Tonight I want us to consider the privilege we have to approach the God of all the universe, the creator of heaven and earth, the one who holds in, our, in his hands our lives and our eternal destiny. Uh, yet we have the privilege to call him Father, to come into his presence. As uh, people of this world can't approach a monarch, they can't go up to the king or queen of their land freely and just chat to them. But a child of the king can come and talk to their father. This is the privilege we have as Christians. We can go into the throne room of heaven uh, and speak to the ruler of heaven and earth uh, because we are his children. And more than that, we have uh, the privilege of being intimate with him, really being able to share our hearts with him, know that he loves us, know that he cares for us. The spirit is at work in our lives. And through that spirit, the Bible says in Romans 8, 15, the spirit you received brought about your adoption to sonship. By him we cry, Abba, Father. And Galatians 4, 6, the same thing. Uh, because you are his sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts. The spirit who calls out, Abba, Father. This word, Abba, was the word that a Jewish child would use for daddy. It's that intimate expression, not a remote father, but daddy, one we can approach. We must never lose that uh, sense of privilege and honour to come into God's presence uh, and have that intimacy with him. That which divided us, our sin has been removed. Uh, we are able to come into his presence and share our innermost thoughts, share our difficulties and challenges, share our joys and delights as we would with a perfect earthly father. Uh, God is our perfect father and we can share with him. He is interested in the details of our life. Prayer is a great privilege. It doesn't have to be formal. It, it, it is an expression of our hearts, pouring out our hearts to our Father who cares about us, who's interested in us. We cry out to him, Abba, Father. Our Father, we thank you for that privilege to be able to address you thus to cry out by your spirit, Abba, Father, to share with you our joys and our fears, to share with you our hopes and our dreams, to hear your instruction and your guidance, knowing that you care for us and you love us as a perfect father loves his children. We thank you for this privilege this evening. Lord, let us never take it for granted, but let us always uh, appreciate the, the, your great grace to us in that you invite us to call you Father. Amen. <laughs>